It's already started. You got that? Yeah. All right. Now, this video, I'm going to attempt to, uh, we don't get interrupted. So last week we made a video. We, I'm going to read this scripture. I'm going to get it. Let me get it real quick. Isaiah 4? Yeah, Isaiah, you got it? Okay. All right, last week we made a video on Isaiah 4. And uh, we had a bunch of scoffers on the YouTube saying that we wasn't breaking down the scripture right. Well, we're just going to read it. We'll break it down. This is Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. And in that day, it's talking about when, the, when the, all this chaos breaks out, like we keep saying, the economy's going to collapse. The EBT's getting cut off. There's going to be riots, race riots. There's going to be martial law, just all out madness, right? And death and destruction. But in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. That means we're going to have seven actual, actually, seven means completion. So it will be more than seven women. Seven represents completion. So on that day, we're going to have all kind of women begging at our feet saying, please, please forgive me if I said, just let me be your man. You can all read it. They're going to be begging for mercy and begging and pleading that we take care of them and protect them and provide for them. Yeah. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. Be called by thy name. What does that mean? To be called by, because when you get, take a wife, she takes your last name, right? That's what that means. And she's going to be called as, because she's going to be our property. Keep going. To take away our reproach. To take away their reproach. What kind of reproach? Of them being a hoe, they get all kind of wickedness. You know what I mean? And then we'll, you know, if they beg for forgiveness, we'll give them forgiveness. You know what I mean? We'll forgive a hoe. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, we will though, right? You are. If they beg for forgiveness, if they humble themselves, yeah, we'll forgive them. This is the definition of reproach. To, um, this is to express or blame or disapproval, a rebuke. Rebuke. Um, blame or disapproval, one that stands as a rebuke or blame. Um, is it got the root word down there? The, the or, or, or way at the bottom usually. Middle English reproach on both French, uh, Latin. Latin, Latin re, reproach Pierre. Latin re, re, yeah, reproach Pierre. What does that mean? to take away their shame. So they ashamed themselves that when they defile their body, they forsake the commandments of the Lord, they turn their back on the Lord. So they're going to beg us to take away their shame. And only a man of the Lord can do that for a woman. Right, but uh, we see he read that and that's what it means. That's what it means. It means what it says, right? <laughs> right? But we had a bunch of women on the comment board. Of course it was women that had a problem with this. Of course it is women. But y'all, you women, you gonna bow down too. But we had a bunch of women on the comment board, and they was saying that this scripture, the seven women in that scripture, is talking about the seven churches in the book of Revelation. <laughs> and they said that one man is Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's just a madness. Yeah, but they, yeah. they don't understand the context, because it's, hey, keep reading, actually, after that. All right. Because there's more to it. Because it specifies and clearly tells you it's talking about actual women. That's why it said seven women. It didn't say seven churches. You're you going to tell me seven churches take a hold of one man? <laughs> the, Lord's not a, the Lord said, I shall not meet thee as a man. Wow. Right? The Lord comes back. He ain't coming back as a man. He's coming back in his full celestial heavenly glory. Mm. Go ahead. In that day shall the grace of the Lord be beautiful and glorious and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and common for them that are escaped of Israel. And it shall come to pass that he 
that is left in Zion, and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. He goes, when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion. The Lord hath washed away the filth of the daughters, plural, of Zion, the daughters. So who's the daughters of Zion are female Israelites. Yeah. Okay. If it said daughter singular, that would mean all Israel. And when it says daughters plural, that's talking specifically speaking about women. That's the context. And also, when you read Isaiah 3, it, right before this chapter, it was talking about women the whole time. Hey, you get chapter 3 when some of the women, the three, yeah, the yeah, women and the tinkling and the stank. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting it over. All, all, chapter 3 led up to 4. It talked about women all through chapter 3, about how wicked they were, how filthy they were, and how all the women was whores. But then when it hit chapter 4, it said then the women are going to beg the man to take away their uh, their shame, their reproach. I show you 3 and 12. This is all about context. And the reason I'm making this video, because it's actual a popular doctrine, and there's a lot of preachers who's actually teaching that seven women is the seven churches. Yeah, That's madness. Yeah, yeah. I never thought I'd even hear somebody say that. Mm -hmm. That's madness. It's talking about multiple women. Because this proves we can have all kind of women. A man can't just, can have more than one woman. A man can have as many women as his heart's desire. Even women too? Like I said, as many women as his heart's desire. That's right. Eat my women too. Whatever floats your boat. Right, right. Whatever just, floats just don't be a faggot. Right. Don't begin with no married women. As for my people, this is Isaiah 3 and 12. Now, right, now, so we just read Isaiah 4, and what is that, 4 and 1, but this is Isaiah 3, because originally the Bible was not broken up into chapters. It was all one continuous text. The chapters and the verse number, that's all new. That's been added later as a way to make the scriptures easier to remember. But originally, this was all one continuous text. So let's read this. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. And the women rule over them, okay? Because right now in America, a women have, they, they get all the good jobs. Women always got more money than the man. When you go to court, the women always gets custody of the children. A man will never get custody. Woman always gets custody. The woman calls the cops on you, the man is going to jail. The woman never goes to jail. Okay? So women is running shit. Women can commit adultery, leave their man, get rewarded with alimony, child support, EBT, Section 8. She gets rewarded for being a whore. That's what that's talking about. Women rule over them. The women have the power in America. Oppressing all men. Right, they, they oppress them. That's when none of these women are faithful to their husbands. They'll break up their family. All right, keep going. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. Right, all, all, all these fake preachers, the people teaching that those seven women is the seven churches, they causing people to err. That's a false doctrine. Keep going. And destroy the way of thy path. The Lord standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof, for ye have eaten of the vineyard and full of the poor is in your houses. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind the face of the poor, said the Lord power of hosts? Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. The daughter, here goes, in chapter four, it mentioned the daughters of Zion, did it not? That's right. So this also mentions the daughters of Zion. And it's not talking about men, it's talking about females. Bitch. And we're going to prove bitches and hoes. <laughs> and the Lord calls women whores, harlots. The word ho is in the word whore. And that's in the Bible multiple times. Keep going. I'm a, I got a scripture to back it up. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Are haughty. That means they loud, boisterous, disrespectful. You know what I mean? Keep going. And walk with stretched forth necks. Just and like wanting eyes. And wanting eyes. That's talking about women. There's no doubt about that. They walk down the street, stretch forth necks. Men don't walk like that unless they're a homosexual. Mm -hmm. That's how the women walk. They got the wanton eyes. They got all the makeup. They all dressed up, tight ass pants. You can see all the cleavage and everything. Just looking like a hoe. Look like she's on the brown. Yeah, right. That's why you got old hoes call themselves cougars. 
because they on the prowl. Keep going. I called this bitch a cougar the other day, man. I thought she got wet as hell, man. She likes being called a cougar. You talking about somebody uh, blushing and shit, man? Oh, ho, oh, like 50-something years old, man. Yeah, cougars. They she on took the, that shit out of my They on the prowl. They be purring. Right. Walking, <laughs> stress for it next to the uh, is walking and mixing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Making a tinkling with their feet. The, the, the men walk tinkling with their feet. <laughs> That's a woman. That's talking about that little sassy little walk they got. You know, you know they walk like, yeah, tranny fucking sodomites. <laughs> but you know how the woman, they walk, they got that little, that sexy horse walk. You know, they be shaking their ass, hips going side to side. My wife wears rings on her toes. Oh yeah, she wears toe rings. Oh, uh, you got the rings, yep. yep. They got toe rings. My daughter and my wife, man, they just wear toe that's rings. That's weird, man. Hey, anything to be, I mean, women love that. They, they, just, they just like to get dressed up. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're vain as shit. Yeah. I don't wear no jewelry. None. Therefore, yeah. the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughter of Zion, and the Lord will discover thy secret parts. The Lord, oh yeah, hold up. So it said the Lord will discover the woman's secret parts. What's a secret part? That's talking about a woman's vagina. That wet, wet. The, yeah, yo, wet, wet. That, that's what these whores, they actually say, I got that wet, wet. <laughs> you can't handle this. <laughs> I got that wet, wet, baby. <laughs> that's how they be all loud, too. I got that wet, wet. <laughs> Nasty hoe. And it be wet. And then, and then they get mad. Somebody was, oh, you can't call her a hoe. Yes, I can. The Lord called them hoes. That's that wet, wet. Ah, oh, don't put that on camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. He scared me. <laughs> I ain't touching this bitch. You send me all kind of pictures. Man. I ain't touching this bitch. Oh, shit. She got that wet wet for you. I've known this girl for her. You gotta you got warn me next time. Yeah, when I first met this girl, man, I've known her for her. And I'm not bullshit, I'm not exaggerating. I've known her within five minutes, she's telling me about her, her pussy and how much she wanna lick and me do some licking. She's already talking dirty to me, it's an old woman. Yeah, man. I don't want women talking to me like that, man. You know, don't even know me. You know, didn't even know me at the time. It's, it's really the man's job to talk dirty. You know, a woman in mind ain't supposed to be working like that. A woman's supposed to be thinking about fucking things. Yeah. Kittens and shit, or yeah. Sewing and knitting. Yeah, you know, I hate hearing a woman talk like a whore, man. It's nasty. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it turns me off. I like a sweet, humble woman. Uh, Something that's pure. You know, she talked dirty to you like that. How many thousands of other niggas she done Right, because she like got that? practice. Yep. She got yep. practice. That's why I got a scripture right here, uh, real quick. Uh, Deuteronomy, this proves that the Lord calls women whores, right? Deuteronomy 23 and 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite, which is a faggot, of the sons of Israel. So, but the word whore has the word hoe in it. That's just hoe is just short for whore. Yeah. But the word whore is in the Bible multiple times. I'll give you another one. We can get back to the Isaiah real quick. I'm gonna get this other one real quick. We get Amos 7 and 17. Because the Lord said y'all whore. He called you whores. Amos 7 and 17, so we can call women hoes and whores and bitches. And it's not profane language. It's righteous language. Because we're identifying people by their proper names and titles. You know, you, know, you don't call a hoe, uh, what's, what's, we don't call a hoe a, a darling or a beautiful woman or a honey, a honey or a baby or... Hey man, these bigger bitches can affect these white women too. Well, this was just yesterday, I was watching TV, and a commercial come on for some new sitcom on the white, white women, and these white women were calling each other bitches, man. They do, they say, what's up, bitch? Yeah. But when a woman sees her friend, she like, what's up, bitch? What's up, ho? What's up, bitch? What's up, ho? What you been doing, bitch? Yeah, how my <laughs> bitches doing? What's hey, up? Man, we call him a bitch. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Shit hits the fan. Shit hits the fan and splatters all over the place. I got a scripture right here. Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and daughters shall fall by the sword, 
and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. Oh, yeah, you good. Don't be scared of us. We're, we're like lambs. Okay, but that proves that the Lord calls women whores. He, he called these hoes harlots. Harlots, that's just a, that's a cinnamon for whore, a hoe. So let's get back to that Isaiah. Okay, um, let's read that one part again about the saint. We get good all, we're gonna get it out real nice. Therefore, you want me to read it all of this one? Well, wait, where it starts to mention the scab and the saint and the private parts. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughter of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. That's why, yeah, right. Discover their secret parts, which is their, vagi their coochie, their vagina. I can't use the word coochie, that's vulgar language. <laughs> you, you know they call it their wet wet. Kitty cat. Their kitty cat, they call it that too. That's what these women call themselves. So we just bearing witness. I call it that black hole. Yeah, the black, the bottomless pit. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, the, oh yeah, yeah. right. The, yeah, the repository. <laughs> That's the bank, sperm bank. Yeah, the sperm bank. <laughs> In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their coals and their round tires like the moon. Remember, this is talking about the daughters of Zion. The same daughters of Zion is mentioned in Isaiah 4. <laughs> and, and who, that's talking about women. It's talking about, they already talking about their vaginas, their clothes. You gonna keep going? The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers. The chains, the bracelets, and the mufflers. Who wears chains? That's the women. Women wear all that jewelry. Not men, unless they're homosexual, a right. sodomite. Keep going. The bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. It's the earrings, women, daughters of Zion. Keep going. The rings and the nose jewels. The rings and the nose jewels. That's talking about women. I mean, this is common sense. I can't believe there's an actual doctrine out there where people <laughs> saying those seven women take a hold of one man that's talking about the seven churches. How stupid is that? But we, I'm just making this video to troll on you women that use, out, use all the common board scoffing. You know what I'm saying? They said we weren't doing the will of the Lord. That's, a, that's evil speaking. Yeah, that's, they're non-believers anything. Yeah, non-believers. You see real men out there sacrificing their bodies to do the work, spread the gospel. We out here defending the gospel. And then you got a problem with it. So you're going to have your reward. That's right. You actually, you're going to be those women. You'll be part of those seven women. When that day comes, you women is talking shit on the comic board, you're going to bow down to our feet, and you're going to beg. You're going to call us sir, sire. They're going to call us, they're going to call us lord. You women are going to call us lord, and you will bow down. Yeah. And you'll like it too. Yeah. The changeable suits of apparel, and the mantles, and the wimples, the and wimples. the crispy pants. What the hell is a wimple? We got to look that up. We got a dictionary. I'm, I bet that's not even in the dictionary. You gotta get an unabridged dictionary. I'm kind of curious. What the hell is a wimple? The glasses and the fine linen and the hood and the belt. And it shall come to pass that instead, instead of sweet smell, oh, there shall be stink. What is that talking about? Read that again. This is Isaiah 3 and 24. That's that wet And bed. it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. That's talking about a woman's stinking ass mm. pussy. That's that wet wet. Literous. And instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of well set hair, baldness. <laughs> and instead of a stomacher, a girdle of set cloth, and a burning instead of beauty. A burning instead of beauty. <laughs> and men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. And her gates shall be lamented and mourned, and she, being desolate, shall sit upon the ground. She's being desolate, they gon' you know they gonna sit there, you know, crumpled all up in a frame with a front of shame on them. But they gonna have that fear on they wicked asses though. Right, well, that's when they fear, and that's when they gonna that that's when get back to uh, Isaiah 4:1 again. 
That's when seven women. So what? Yeah, I'm every summer school. Oh, oh yeah, we can finish. Yeah. Her gates shall be lamented and mourned, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. For and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. That's when the women you hoes, you gonna be so shameful. You know, we out here right now, they all acting like hoes. But when the shit hits the fan, you're going to bow down, you're going to call us sire, you will call us lord, and you will obey every command that comes out of our mouth. That's right. That's right. And we will do with you as we please. I'm looking up the word wimple. I, I bet it's not in here. What the hell is a wimple? We got oh, to know. Yeah, we got some those. I think I looked it up years ago, I forgot. I did, I looked at whole chapter. Yeah. I looked at whole, that whole chapter. And there's a winch, isn't there? A winch. <laughs> oh, there's a wimple, look. Here's a wimple. When it said these women wear wimples, right? Yeah. A cloth wound around the head, framing the face and drawn into folds beneath the chin, worn by women <laughs> in medieval times as part of the habit of certain orders of nuns. A wow. fold or pleating cloth, a ripple as on the surface of hey, water. Look at this bitch right here. She's wearing a wimple. Where she got the wimple? Get the wimple, bro. Where's that? Oh, she missed it. But look, so we talking about wimples. We ain't getting on camera. That's all right. But a wimple rolled by. That's the spirit of the Lord working with us. The spirit's with us, bro. That's a, I, that's a wimple. Oh, man, I'm going to love to see them. See, most of these women today, they don't wear wimples. They uncovered. They uncovered. They, shame, they totally shameless. Because back in the ancient world, Women weren't, they weren't, it wasn't as bad as this. Now, women is just totally, totally wicked. They don't even, because back in the day, they had to keep their wickedness in the closet. Now they just all out with it, you know what I mean? They get, now they get titty implants, breast implants, butt cheek implants. And everything's about, about sexual fantasies and everything's about sexuality and being sexual and having orgies and... That's what it's all about. That's America. Mm. America is just one big, mm. big STD-filled orgy. Mm. Just, 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 just pure filth and rotten flesh and piles of shit with flies buzzing on it. That's America. That's why, <laughs> according to the CDC, Center of Disease and Control, we brought this out in almost every video. Over 110 million Americans are infected with STDs. Okay, so most of these, half, over half the women got HPV, they got herpes, you know what I'm saying? They got warts, they got gonorrhea, they got the clap. Chlamydia. Chlamydia. They got some shit you ain't never heard of. So what's worse, me saying a cuss word or a woman giving you herpes or warts? But they, people get offended at cuss words. It's an abomination. Bacterial vaginosis is something that's just common with these What is it? Say that. Bacterial vaginosis. That don't sound good. Right. That sounds scary. Bacterial vaginosis. That I mean, sounds frightening. All these bitches get it, man. What's the hell's going on here? Oh, shit. What's up, homie? Not much, homie. What's up? Chariot to the fire. You ever seen a chariot? I've seen a chariot. A chariot of fire? You're a fool. You're a fool. I don't know if I'm going to have a cup. That's all my women. Believe in the Bible? I believe in it all. You believe in it all? What is that? That sounds scary. <laughs> what you out here doing? You out here clowning? Huh? You out here clowning? You're getting, you're getting tore up, ain't you? I'm going to look for some women, buddy. Hey, yeah. hey, give him the scripture we just read. Oh, yeah. You want to hear, yeah, this will make you a man, this make you, see, you know the Bible is a manly book. <laughs> Did you know that? It's a Check book, this it's a book for real, this, tell me this is not a manly book, read this. This is Isaiah 4 and 1, and in that day, seven women 
shall take hold of one man. Seven women shall take hold of one man. <laughs> what does that mean? I get seven women. I just want one. Just one. Want one. You want one with that? You want one? Just get one. But you know, you know, the, you know, the, you know the churches that say you don't allow to have one wife. The Bible says otherwise. You have all kind of women. Yeah. King David had multiple wives. Moses had more than one woman. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Even Jacob had two wives. You know what I'm saying? And they were sisters. That's the exact thing I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So we, you know, what I'm you know these churches, they a bunch of homosexuals. They, they say having sex is a sin. But the Lord said it'd be fruitful and multiply. We fill the face of the earth with our people. There's only one way to be fruitful. That's right. And by getting down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get down. That's right, baby. You know what I'm saying? What you got? Okay. Yeah, I got one more thing. And you know women are also property. Did you know that? Yeah. You know a woman, a woman is a property, a possession. In America, though, they give women rights. You know when America was first founded? Even when America was first founded, women were not allowed to own property. Did you know that? They were not allowed to vote, were not allowed to own property, and they, they were to do what their husband commanded them to do. There was no divorce. Divorce was unheard of. Okay, but now a woman can leave you. You know what I'm saying? A woman can leave you, take the children. She could be a hoe, an adulteress, but in America, she can leave you, take your children, be a hoe, have sex with a thousand right, men. What's all the women at? Huh? What's all the women at? You talking all this crap? What's all the women? But they hoes. They all right. They're hoes. They out here holding it up. Come on, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's check this out. This is Deuteronomy 21 and 15. If a man has two wives, listen up, one beloved and another hated, let me read it again. That's a, that's a good Deuteronomy point. 21 and 15. If a man has two wives. If a man has two wives. We can have more than one woman. Yeah. One oh, beloved. Them hoes ain't messing with you. And another. <laughs> yeah, that's that. You know that. They gonna call the cops on <laughs> you. Know that. That's all right. Every day again. <laughs> if a man has what? Is this is Deuteronomy 21 and 15. Yeah, focus, focus. If a man <laughs> has two wives. One beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated. And if the firstborn son be heard that was hated, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. Right, because that proves you can't have more than one wife. Right. So we're going to have all kinds of women. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm saying. Well, I don't even have to read the damn Bible for that stuff. Well, maybe you don't. You know, the Bible's not for everybody. That seems like that's for me. <laughs> he said it seems like that's for me. <laughs> that's a good answer. That's a good answer. It's always an answer. Well, most people have a problem with that. We read a scripture like that, like, oh, that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like the Bible, that's some right, bullshit. Come on, get these women with him. Huh? Get up here. Get their numbers, bro. Right? Hey, come on. Come on. She <laughs> said, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I don't want to do no porno. Yeah, porno, that's, that's what you do. Huh? That's all these women do pornos, actually. All, half these women you see, watch. They go in, they doing pornos. They uh, sticking bowling pins up their ass. Fist, they fist, they fist stuff, each other. You ever, you ever got, they got all kind of sites on the internet, like Pornhub, all these different porno sites. And the women, you got, anybody can upload a video to a porno site. Oh. And you got millions of women, that are all, I guarantee you, 80%, if probably more, eight, at least, by my estimation, at least, I'm gonna just go with 90%. 90% of these hoes don't made a porno. Fist each other. They, they uh fuck each other with whiskey. Well, that's the horse I'm looking for. Oh no. <laughs> well you gonna you gonna run into you gonna get some you know what H you know what gonorrhea is? 
Well, I don't, I'll be safe with the, with the condom, buddy. Oh, you see, you can't wear condoms, though. That guy, that's against the, that's against the Bible. Oh, yeah. You, you got to bust all, bust all up in them. Them, them condoms got shit in them that yeah. cause you to have an infection. Yeah, the condoms don't even protect you. Yeah. And there's been some reports of condoms with it. Uh, people caught AIDS from a condom. That's right. I don't think about that. I don't think that's true. I'll never wear a condom, ever. Before I have sex with them, I just send them a prayer to the Most High, and I just take care of business. Yeah, but that's stupid, man. You that's stupid. Get, that's stupid because you got to protect yourself. Protect for what? The Lord is I want to have babies. Uh, if I'm having sex, I want to get that bitch pregnant. Yeah, but that's one thing if you've been speaking to women. No, but uh, like, are you close to the woman? You ain't close to none of these women. Okay. Now, all, all these women are hoes. And even if you got a wife, you don't really have a wife. All you have is your a turn. <laughs> your turn. A turn. It's just your turn. Your turn. And she's gonna leave you. She gonna someone else is gonna get a turn. <laughs> Check this out. This is all, all these women is hoes. Check this out. This please has is 36 and 21. A woman will receive every man. Yep. Yet is one daughter better than another? Yeah. <laughs> There's the no beauty escapes. of a woman cheereth the countenance, and a man loveth nothing better. Yeah, that's if, true. If there be kindness, that's all he's thinking about. Right, meekness <laughs> and comfort in her tongue, then is not her husband like other men. He that getteth a wife, begetteth a possession. Get a possession, because a woman is a possession. Like, if you get a woman, you are her lord. My lord. She, if a real, a real, if a woman was really a righteous, a good woman, she will call you Lord. If your woman does not call you Lord, she's not a good woman. She, if she does not call you Lord and Sire and Sir and all that, she's a hoe. A help like that comes from himself and a pillar of rest. A pillar, uh, right? A woman's supposed to be a pillar of rest, not a a, a heart attack. You know what I'm saying? Drive you crazy. Hey, here you go. This is what we do right here. Where no hedge is, there the possession is spoiled. And he that hath no wife hey, woman, yes, will man. wander up and down mourning. <laughs> That's your boy. He wandering up and down mourning. Oh, shit. He about to get it. He about to get a charge, man. They're going to get it. 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 they are going to get it 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 they are going <laughs> they ain't gonna fuck you, dude. They're gonna get him. It's too skanky. Too skanky, huh? <laughs> they all skanky. I got a scripture to back it up, what we was talking about. Like he said, a woman's a possession. Uh, what am I looking for? You get paid. Peter died, dude. Uh, first Peter 3 and 1. Likewise, likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. You know, the, all these women, they always gossiping. While they be home, because a woman that come up, because your woman can have some friends, and behind your back, she talking shit like, you gotta leave that nigga. They all do. All of them. He's a piece of shit. You, you gotta get with this dude instead. All of them do. They all do. Uh, that, sorry. Oh, it's nice out there. So while they behold your uh, chance conversation coupled with fear, oh. who, <laughs> who's adorning, let it not be that outward adorning and plaiting the hair and wearing of gold or putting on a pair. Like these women always dress like hoes. But it let it be the hidden man of the heart, and that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of a great price. Like uh, a righteous woman is priced as far above rubies. It's hard to find a woman with a meek and quiet spirit. Who's humble, polite. You don't talk like a hoe. You know what I'm saying? And it is. They do exist. As, as they exist, but they it's rare. Exist. Very rare. That's yeah. that's what a, you don't want a porno star. You want a woman like that. A I good, want a porno star. All right. All right. right. Yeah, yeah, be careful with your ass. You know, you run into some of these hoes, the actual yeah, prostitutes, yeah. street walkers. Yeah. Some of them have a, a way more humble spirit than just these average people. All right. Because some of these, they got to be prostitutes to make it in this. Right over there. We got some. 
Oh, uh, listen up. We're going to finish this scripture. Now we got focus. Right here, focus. Now we ain't focus. focus and shit. Focus. He can't focus. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got focus. There goes some hope. You got too much strong drink. I fuck these hoes. You got too much strong hey, drink. Baby, come on. <laughs> How we doing tonight? <laughs> yeah, I thank you. All right, listen up. <laughs> For after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God adorn themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands, even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well and are not afraid yeah! of any amazement. So a woman's supposed to call her husband Lord. I've got you. Ain't that what you want? A woman to call you Lord? To oh, be yeah, your I servant? Want, I want him to call me any damn things he wants me to call. Why don't you go track one of these hoes down, man? Yeah, there's some fine ass hoes over there on the other side of the street. Yeah, they're over there. They ain't really over here. They ain't over here. I ain't going. I'm, I'm teaching the Bible. There's one right there. Go get her number. I, I ain't worried about these hoes right now. We out here to uh, we out here to teach the gospel right now. That's our main objective. We ain't out here trying to get with bitches right now. That's for another time and another Fuck place. These hoes. <laughs> <laughs> bitches ain't nothing but hoes and tricks. Yeah, these bitches ain't shit. There you go. There's a herd right there. I ain't even press about no hoes. Yeah, no. press about no bitches. Yeah. I don't yeah. have to turn me on. I don't have sex plenty of times. Right. You know what I'm saying? Alright buddy, I'll take you out later. Alright homie. Chinga to Madre. <laughs> That's a good shit. Man, he's going. He's going to bring trouble, man. Yeah, he was bringing. He brought a foul spirit. I shouldn't even dap him up. I got to go wash my hands now. I probably got sperm shit. Probably just came out of Tonto <laughs> Bell's bathroom. He's fingering his butt hole and all kinds. You know what's not shit. Like I got Jesus on his camera. Right <laughs> up Jesus. Hey, he made, he made for a good video though. Cause yeah, your boy, right, cause right. he came up talking about the same thing. We was already talking so about women. Said, that's the spirit, and he came up that's talking spirit, about ain't. women. That's the spirit. Yeah. Even though that was a drunk, crazy Irishman. <laughs> he was an Israelite, no doubt. He went up to that bitch here like, come on, let's go. <laughs> you know what? Some of these cool motherfuckers, drunk motherfuckers, yeah. they sober up, let me cool, man. Yeah, they be cool. They be cool. They were sober. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. They actually cool to talk to, man. Yeah, they want to talk to. Understand us, they understand the struggle. That's struggle. That's why he's so drunk in the first yep. place. Yep. They struggle. Cause like, like right now, cause he's drunk and he's in a wild spirit. But really, he, he can't Let's get go. no woman. You know why? Cause he's probably like you say. He's probably a, when he's sober up. He's probably all right, dude. Mm -hmm. And the bitch is doing him dirty. I bet his wife done left him and all kind of shit. Right, right. You know what I mean? He threw his ass out. Left, you know? All kind of shit. But really, you know, the Lord put that person on that food. He's just an old fool. It's really, that's all that food was. Oh, he's hard. <laughs> they they going to fight yeah. over jaywalking. <laughs> shit, we about to wrap it up. Uh, we about to get out of here. We fuck, man. Go ahead, hold on. Yeah, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders, GMS. You know what I'm saying? Until next time. Go ahead. Shallow out. Just follow me.